Today we're going to talk about palm muting. I'm going to show you the basics of how it's done. Um, I talk about it in my book, Women's Road to Rock Guitar. On page 25 is the first introduction to palm muting. It's a really cool thing you can do to create texture in your songs, contrast. Uh, you, you, for instance, if you go from an open G chord in one part of song and then you change to palm muted chords, it's a totally different vibe. Also, palm muting is a must to know if you're going to play hard rock, metal, punk, and things like that. You just got to know your palm muted chords. So, how do you do this? Well, you use this part of your hand, of your right hand. It's like this cushy part right before the wrist begins. And then what I do is I park that cushy part right above the bridge of the guitar. Now, bridges look different on different electric guitar models. This is like a Les Paul guitar. So the bridge is this part. It's like right after your last pickup. It's, it's this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my right hand there. And I'm going to put it right like against the three bass strings. And it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be parked there the whole time, no matter if I change chords or anything. With my left hand, I'm going to play a G power chord. That's two string chord, index fingers on the sixth string's third fret. And then my ring fingers on the fifth string's fifth fret. Okay. So the idea with the palm mute is get this kind of sound. If you press too much, then you won't get the tone in the chord. It'll be too percussive. And if you do it too little, then it'll just sound normal. So it's about finding the perfect balance. And sometimes it can take a little practice, but this is what it should sound like. And then I could change chords and my hand, like I said, isn't going anywhere. So I'm gonna go from G down two frets to the F back to G. Then I'm going to jump forward with my left hand to a C power chord. So it's like the fifth string and the fourth string. And as you see, my hand isn't going anywhere. And the cushy part of my palm, my right palm, was covering those three bass strings. So I could just D chord, A chord. <laughs> Board. So there you go. That's what palm muted chords should sound like. Mm -hmm.